Sup guys, been a while since I uploaded. I mean, it's hard when YouTube doesn't push your videos. Anyway, to be honest, I have mixed feelings about this episode. I sort of agree, but then I sort of don't. IDK. So, Penny and her associates are practicing their choreography for Hip Hop Helicopter. Dijanae's cousin confirms they're in. Lol. Check out that ride. Wow. That's your cousin's car? Yeah. She's from the other side of the family. You mean the side with the money? So what? I'm from the side with the looks? Yeah. Looks like you ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bethany. What's up, cuz? Dijanae gets roasted. Ha ha ha. Then the parents are going bowling, and of course, Oscar's whack ass doesn't let Penny go. Ugh. Eventually, Trudy lets her go. Bro, look at her face. Even she knows her dad is whack as hell. Priceless. Oh, what's he doing? So, Dijanae's cousin picks them up, then just dumps them. Wow, she is fake. Not surprised, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if all of Dijanae's family is fake. Lamau, the way they walk in sync. Then it cuts to the parents. To be honest, they're irrelevant for now, so screw them. We're then introduced to the hosts of Hip Hop Helicopter. Honestly, this felt dated, which makes sense, by the way. It honestly makes me miss the early 2000s. Good times. We see the Chang triplets going on stage. Dang, this is so stereotypical. Glad they fixed them in the reboot. Oh, man. Kind of funny how this speaks against racism, yet still participates in it. So, then Penny and her associates go on stage and perform. And welp, they end up wearing revealing clothes and their parents are upset, seeing them on TV. Damn. Now, to be honest, I see nothing wrong with these outfits. I've seen girls wear these in real life, and I never saw nothing wrong, but I understand the message they're sending. Girls shouldn't be sexualized. I agree, but then it also simultaneously does, in a way. Like, I see nothing wrong with those clothes, and I mentioned this before. It's so hypocritical of Trudy and Oscar to say she shouldn't be grown and not wear those clothes, yet they make her babysit. Like, be consistent with her parenting, dude, which is also grown. Heck, even when she wore the outfit again, it also taught her that some dudes are shallow and only want her for her body, which is good she's now aware of and didn't want the guy. Now, I can't blame Oscar for getting angry, but he sure was still being a bitch to her, considering a grown man called his daughter a hottie. My daughter! Dude, that's your daughter? Dude, she's a hottie. What? Why are you little? Ooh, I'm surprised Disney got away with that. Penny's family is also sexualizing her, telling her to dress respectable. Yeah, you can still sexualize your kid even when you don't find the outfit sexy because you think it's sexy to others. I can guarantee these outfits wouldn't be an issue if they were boys. Why do you think the don't reveal skin rule is mostly placed on girls? Because they're more sexualized. However, on Hip Hop Helicopter's case, I think Penny and her so-called friends won because not only they were more creative, they were also showing more skin considering only high school and college kids competed and they were only let in because of Dijone's cousin, which is indeed gross and may most likely be the case. So I do believe they were sexualized by everyone. You. Obviously not their fault. It seems the show punished Penny for wearing revealing clothes and told not to grow up so fast. I wish it addressed more how people sexualize you no matter what, even if you're modest and regardless, people will only use you for your body. Honestly, it was kind of hard to take this lesson seriously because the show punishes Penny for not growing up fast, a.k.a. babysitting. Like, be consistent. Penny can't wear revealing clothes because it's grown. Then no babysitting either. Oh, wait. They don't care or else Penny will be treated like crap again like in the Twins to Teens EP. Ugh, this show, dude. People that say kids shouldn't be sexualized and need to wear modest clothing simultaneously participate in that. Heck, I even seen them tell a kid they look a prostitute. Absolutely disgusting. I thought you were against sexualizing kids, but also tell them they look like a freaking prostitute. Insane. You're just thinking like a pedo.
The hypocrisy is crazy. It especially doesn't help when it's a young black girl. They're constantly being told whatever they do is either grown or fast. Bro, why are you telling a little girl she's fast? Nasty as hell. Awful. So, I see both sides, but I felt the lesson sort of fell flat in the episode. It should have been handled better, but I think they couldn't go deeper due to guidelines or something. Anyway, have a nice day.